Hello, my dear students. Today, in this video, I'll give the answers of the activities on page 94, 96, no, 95 and 96, which is this one. And let's start with the first page and the first activity. <clears throat> we have learned these animals. So this is a sheep dog. See, it hurts and tries to control the sheep. Sheep dog. This is a bee and it makes honey for us, for everyone, for themselves. This is a service animal which helps the people with a disability. And it's a very important service. And the next one is a cow which produces milk. And this one is therapy animal. It cheers up the people, it makes people happy. And the last one is a sheep, of course. These are the answers of the first activity. Let's go to the next part. Complete the sentences with the correct words. All right. This animal produces, produces wool to make cloth. These animals um, help people who have a disability do everyday tasks. These are service animals, remember? A number, no, let's just see. These animals, what herd sheep, herd sheep to help the farmer move from the, move them from place to place. These animals cheer up people in hospitals and homes. And these animals produce milk for us to drink. Actually, they don't produce milk for us, but we use it. These animals pollinate flowers and make honey. And the next part is going to be like that. This animal produces wool to make cloth, which is a sheep and its number is six. These animals help people who have a disability do everyday, everyday tasks. This is a service animal and it's number three. These animals hurt sheep. So it's a sheep dog. It's very, it's very easy. Number one, these animals, people, no, these animals cheer up people in hospitals and homes. So this is a therapy animal, which is uh, on number five. These animals produce milk for us to drink and they are cows. Thank you, cows. Because milk is, your milk is really delicious. These animals pollinate flowers and milk. Honey, and I love honey too. It's B and number two. And I love honey with milk together. All right, we have just finished this part and we are on the page 95, which is about reported speech with models. Can, can't, may or may not, might or might not, and will or won't are models like auxiliary verbs. They are not the main verb, but they are uh, assistant verbs. They assist for the main verb, base verb. They are used with a base verb, uh, with, a, with a base verb, of course. In reported speech, the model, the model usually changes for. He said, I can win the race. So this is a claiming. He claimed he could win the race. Tortoise said, I may win the race. So it's just a prediction, I guess, but Tortoise thought that he might win the race. And the next one, Tortoise said, I will finish first. So we should, it's, an, it's a prediction about the future. Tortoise predicted that he uh, would finish first. And Tortoise said, Hare wouldn't win. Let's go to the next part, which is about reporting verbs. These are the reporting verbs. This is, this should be complaint. And the next one is should be, the next one should be thought. Number three is explained. Number four is predicted. Number five is claimed. And number six is boasted. Cool. Let's go to the next part. My brother complained that. 
because he can't or couldn't hurt the ship by himself. This is a complaint. So my brother complains, blah, blah. He explained that, of course, and my uncle claimed that, claimed that there is another verb, reporting verb starting with C. My, sorry, number four, he boasted that his dog, blah, blah. My dad thought, which is a past form of think. And number six, my mom predicted that if we got a sheep dog, blah, blah, blah. And the next one is going to be choosing the correct options after the reporting verbs. My brother complained that he couldn't. We absolutely should use the past form of models. He explained that the ship wouldn't listen to him. My uncle claimed that sheep dogs could hurt sheep better than people. Number four, he posted that his dog could, I guess, or would win any herding competition. Number five, my dad thought that might not be true. Number six, my mom predicted that if we got a sheep dog, it might become a family pet. Ooh, here we go. We have finished this page too. And the last one is this, actually. <clears throat> the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. So let's try to make reported speech with models. Lucinda claimed that, the first one is a claim. Lucinda claimed that these were some of the most helpful animals on earth. We should, we should use past form of are. Past form of are is were when the subject is bees. And the next one is number two. We should say the bees in one heave might produce up to 45 kilograms of honey in a year. Let's see. She said that. Let me repeat it. She said that, number two. She said that the bees in one heave might produce up to 45 kilograms of honey in a year. And number six. What does it say? Huh. She explained that. We will start with this one. She explained that many plants couldn't produce fr fruit if bees uh, didn't pollinate their flowers. So it's okay. Number four, she predicted it's about the future. She predicted that if bees disappeared, we wouldn't have enough food. This is how reported speech with models work. So let me show you the answers. See, if bees disappeared, we wouldn't have enough food. Many plants couldn't produce, if, uh, produce fruit if bees didn't pollinate their flowers. The bees in one heap might produce up to 45 kilograms of honey in a year. Uh, and number one, bees were some of the most helpful animals on earth. Here we go, we have just finished and I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day and evening, bye.